2005 when I heard about it. And you were like this fascinating. I said, this guy got on NPR for a reason. And of course, I heard it on a Wednesday, 3.30 in the afternoon. And what's most, what's happening most times at 3.30 in the afternoon for most teachers? They're either on bus duty or they're back in their classroom cleaning up or they're just so relieved to be done with teaching. So out of the, well, four million teachers that are in the country, maybe 2,000 heard this report. So I actually went to the school, right? It cost you $200 to sit through a class to see what they do. So I videotape the whole thing. They I have the raw video. video. They let you video? Absolutely, because they're trying to proselytize. They're saying, look, we're spending all our time making a really damn good school. So it's up to people to come and see it. And the word of mouth is faster than Mar uh, us marketing. marketing it. What city is it in? Providence. They have 25 sister schools that have grown. Now that it's going to the next level, there'll be 100, right? Each one is spawning in their area. Nothing's come down to Florida yet. The concept of the principle is there's um, basically 120 students in the school. That's it. So he has a school of 700 students. This means there are six principals. Each one is their own school. They can intermingle, but when you say, oh, I'm part of the Unity School, I'm part of the Freedom School, they stay for most of their work within that 120 students. They get to know all those 120. That's about 30 students at each level, because it's high school, you know, 9, 10, 11, sure. 12 grades. Two days of the week, the campus is empty. The students are spending time in an internship related to their passion. They're asking, how did, uh, on the, when they come back to school, they say, oh, what did you do yesterday? Well, I did this and this, and I noticed that he was using milliliters when he was injecting. I don't really understand what ML means. It's really a math. scientific scientific inquiry process when it comes to knowledge. Bills and bills, less planned, it's, it's, it's organically flows out of the student. From the right. Student. And there always is a plan in the sense that when you come back, you reflect on what happened yesterday. Oh, that is, yeah. It's and that's the plan. plan. It's a broad plan. But what, you're, what most people look at is, well, where's the curriculum? Well, it's coming out of the child. And so uh, it, it, the, the NPR interview was eight minutes. But when you went on the website, they have 45 minutes of background tape. So I just pulled all of that off, and it's now on a CD. And I'm going to be handing that to you. So that when you're driving around in the car, I'm handing you two copies. Because you're going to want to give one immediately to someone else. I am. You know, just to hear the story that this guy told Fascinating us. story. Absolutely. By the way, Steve, it, it, it's really a compilation of what you've always believed in, personally. And what a lot of our peers in our circles have always discussed. It's codified, though. It's organized. And, and the guy does it day to day, and I'm a project guy. I can work on it for like five hours and say, okay, that's good. <laughs> this is fascinating, truly <laughs> fascinating. You know, there's the Wall Street Journal puts out a report, you might be aware of it, every year, and it reads schools. Right. Two years ago, a school not too far from where I live, mm -hmm. in Alexandria, Virginia, I believe it's located, very close to D.C., across the Potomac. It's called St. Anne's. It's a Catholic school. Mm -hmm. It's a very creative school, and they have no grades, and it was number one at the top of their list. They all go to college. How do they get into college? They go to all very good colleges. Mm -hmm. It's all via essay. And they, and they provide their portfolio. Portfolio. Four years. The buzzword. Mm -hmm. I'm not just going to come and, 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 and dazzle you during the interview with what my lawyer dad and my, I don't know, CEO mom pumped into me. Here's what I've done over the last four years about preparing for this day. No grades. No grades. Portfolio. Here's my grade. Mm -hmm. Now to see a bunch of A's, B's, and whatever, mm -hmm. or A's. A record of progress. That's pretty fascinating. 
um, this is another, it's more work to grade someone with a portfolio, but it reveals more. So that's why it's worth more. There are four pages in this 200 page book that are necessary to read. I, I have to admit, I haven't read the book. I opened it up because an L. Gardner happened to open it to page 160, turned one page, and that's when I read Performance of Understanding. Oh, okay. I read for four pages. And that's everything I know about Gardner. I mean, I, I literally have read other web pages about his basic theory, and there's a, a school that uses this his theory at a lower level with lots of portfolios in St. Louis. I visited that school too. Videotape that. The compilation of the two videos, both of the Providence School and this St. Louis School, you come away thinking, this is the future of education. It's more work, but this is how we should be evaluating. Have you been keeping in touch with Tony and Leslie? Absolutely. How are they doing? <coughs> Leslie is now the director of Embassy. And this was, she's been there a while because the last time we spoke, you. Tony is out in Seattle. Okay. He's still in the field or is he doing something different? He's still in the field. Okay, good. Um, he's teaching at the... He, he got his real estate license right when things were starting going down. So, so he went back to teaching in... Um, um, where was it? Just the local school, I guess. Um, it, 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 it's the... Oh, university. That's what it is. It's, it's the local university. Now, how about that? Let's see. I love Skype. So I think he has, um, what, do they, what do they call it when you, you can leave, is it Skype in that allows you to leave a message? They have different names. Okay. Right. There's Skype out, which allows you to call any phone number through a computer. Skype in allows any telephone to call in to the computer and leave a message. Cool. And then I believe when you get either Skype out or Skype in, you automatically get an answering machine. Nice. And the answering machine should answer in like two or three rings. Come on, Tony. I'm trying to leave a message here. But um, he's, he, he's generally, you know, pushing the envelope. He, he does um, presentations. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Presentations. And then you have a little test on Friday. But mostly Vietnamese kids. Yes. Because they're coming in. You know, and they got to go he, through the. Is he happy out there? Oh, yeah. Good. So they moved out there for his wife. She has family or a connection out there? Um, there's a big cancer. Treatment center? Yeah. Kettering or something. Ah, like Kettering? Yeah. I don't know. One of those. And that was her dream to work in an organization that really advanced people, you know, got them well. Yes. Versus um, sometimes if you work in an emergency room, it's just triage. Yes. Or it's, uh, well, you patch them together, but the clientele isn't going to take care of themselves. That's right. So she wanted that. She wanted something more to be more to grow, Yeah, or you're really and taking then, someone from a low level and you're moving them on for the rest of their lives. That is great. And uh, they picked a nice town. Oh. Well, you, you, so you know. Yeah, so we deal with clouds and rain. Well, yeah, you know, that's a good thing. He um, is, is very happy there. His son is doing really well. And, oh, call refused. Well, he obviously doesn't have a, a current, um, what do they call that? Uh, they're, 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 it's not set for answering. I, I don't know Skype well enough to know what the settings are. So, um, he's probably still in class. Hell, are you don't happen to be in class. Good time to call you? No, I'm just down Oh, great. George Shiano here. I got George. Hey. Tony Lord, I wanted to say hello. 